How to use the Stickers Branding Mockup Bundle? The bundle includes three folders. One, sticker generators, two, branding elements, and three, pre-made scenes. In the first folder, you generate isolated stickers with your design for use in folder two, or paste them wherever you want. In the second folder, you will find various types of branding elements where you can paste the stickers created in folder one. In the third and last folder, you find pre-made scenes. Just paste your design into the smart object layer and you're done. How to use the sticker generators? Let's see. Open the PSD file, read the instructions and hide them. Double click on the sticker design layer and paste your design. Remember to delete or hide the default layer. Save it and close the window. The sticker with your design has been generated. Now we can choose our favorite texture. To do this, we must show or hide the layers with the numbers one by one. Once we choose the texture we like the most, we will quickly export it in PNG format. To do this, we double click on the layer with the number of the texture and we will choose the quick export as PNG option. Ready, our sticker will have been saved in the folder you have chosen. Now, let's take a look at how to utilize the stickers that were created on the branding elements. Once you open the PSD file, you'll find various elements organized into folders based on their themes. To view each of them, you need to enable or disable the corresponding layers. In folder one, you'll discover a mix of boxes and notebooks. In folder two, there are envelopes or shipping packages. And in the third folder, you'll find Ziploc plastic bags. Additionally, in the last folder, you can also change the background color as desired. Most of the elements allow color editing. In this case, let's focus on the plastic bag. Wondering how to use the stickers generated earlier on these elements? It's easy. In this instance, I'll choose the front of the notebook. Expand the folder and above the folder labeled Do Not Touch, insert the sticker generated in chapter one. Paste the sticker, adjust it as you like, and you're done. Let's also change the color of the notebook. I'll click on the pink color of the heart, which looks great. We'll also change the background color. I'll choose a blue. Excellent. There, we've created our first branded element with our sticker affixed to it. Now let's create a scene with multiple elements. Selecting this element, we'll place it wherever we want and activate a new one. I think I'll choose one of the envelopes. For example, this one. We'll move it to the side. Just like with the notebook, we expand the folder and above the layer named Do Not Touch, we insert the new sticker. I'll stick to this one. In fact, I can add several stickers to the same element. Let's also change the color. I think I'll choose a color that contrasts a bit more. Perfect. We now have our envelope. Let's move it a bit as well. 
the same with our notebook. This way, we can create the scene we want. Of course, I can continue adding elements. Let's move the notebook again. We'll move the bubble wrap envelope. Now, I'll choose one of the bags. A smaller, transparent one. Let's see how it works. We move it. I think this one is the best. We can enlarge it a bit more if we want. Changed my mind. Let's move the notebook to the center of the scene. And the envelope to the side. I think I'll choose another plastic bag. This one is better. I'll adjust it a bit. Now I'll add a sticker inside. I'll choose a sticker with our logo, Moku. In this case, for the plastic bag, the sticker can go under the Do Not Touch folder to create the effect that it's inside the bag. And we can add some more. Done. Our first scene with brand elements and stickers on them has been created. Easy, right? Finally, let's take a look at the pre-made scenes that can be found in folder number three. In this folder, we will find two types of files. Some will be like this one, where we can only implement a single sticker in the scene. We'll start by double-clicking on the layer called Sticker Design, and a new window will open. Here, we'll paste our design. Go to Edit and then Paste. We'll arrange it as we want. Consider the position of the hand. Remember to hide or delete the default design. Go to File, Save and close the window. Our sticker will automatically be placed on the hand. If you're not satisfied with its location or rotation, you can repeat the process to adjust. Rotate it again to your liking, save and close. Remember, that you can also change the background color, so we'll go to the folder called Background. Expand it, double-click on the box, and choose the background color you like. For example, pink. Click OK, and you're done. We have edited the scene with our design. In the same folder, the number three, we'll also find other PSD files that, unlike the one we saw earlier, allow us to paste more than one sticker on the objects. In this case, I opened the PSD containing several objects with senatal views. Let's stick with the little cup this time. Changing the design is straightforward. We repeat the same procedure as shown before. Double-click on the layer called Sticker Design. A new window opens, and here we paste all the stickers we want, 
be it two, three, or even four. Let's hide the default design and add our own. Go to Edit, then Paste, and paste our first sticker. Next, let's add one more. For example, our logo, paste and arrange it, paste it in the position and rotation you want. Let's add a third sticker. Like before, copy and paste this new design, rotate and arrange it. Once we've pasted all the stickers, go to File, Save, Close, and automatically, the three stickers will be placed on our cup. Like all our PSDs, remember you can also change the background color. For that, go to the folder called Background and expand it. Double-click on the square and choose the color you like. In this case, I take the orange colour from the letter M. Done! Our scene with the stickers is finished. These instructions are merely recommendations and possible uses. Feel free to experiment, play and use our products as you wish.